I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. Hello and welcome back to part four of my kit voice box project. Um, hmm, sorry it's been so long. Just I've had so much other work to do, I just haven't had time to make the film. Um, but kit has been completed now for for about six months now. But actually, as I said, I've had so much school work to do, I just haven't had time to get round to doing the film. But um, now he's built into an enclosure, so everything's all in one box now, instead so of it being spread over the table like it was before. Um, the software has also been upgraded. Um, it now has um, a relay interface in it now, so um, you can run, say, items in your car off the relay if given the uh, <laughs> the correct configuration. Um, unfortunately, obviously, I haven't actually done that yet, but the port interface does actually work, so uh, that's quite handy. Um, and here he is. Here he is. The kit voice box. Unfortunately, these side lights... Um, there's been a sort of a problem with them. I haven't managed to get round to actually um, sort of sorting them out. Um, but there's the controls for them anyway, and then you can select all your different cruise lights and stuff like that. Um, here you've got all your sockets and your switches. Um, you've got power, audio amplifier, microphone amplifier, audio selector, and here just follows the same: audio, uh, sorry, power, audio in. Microphone in, speaker out. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch them on and I'm going to run through the same test near enough as I did last time in part three of the video. But hopefully this will then conclude the, uh, the episode, which I know you've all been wanting to, uh, to see, but I just haven't got around to doing it. But so what we do is we just get the power, plug into that one there. Then we get the audio speaker and put into that one. And the audio in goes into that one. Okie dokie, just give me a second. I'm just gonna start the software up. Get me to sit right. There we go. Right. There we go. Okay, give me a second. There's the software. It's loading and unloading screen now so I can tell where the progress if it, if it loading so that's quite handy um, okay. switch that one on there and then this one kit introduce yourself Kit, I need you. I'm on my way. So you can see now that um, the software interfaces with it quite nicely now uh, within its box. Um, I'm still trying to work on trying to get the lights to work, but uh, for some reason they're not working. It seems to it seems to overload the resistor, and the resistor starts heating up and frying itself. So, but I'm going to try and get that worked out and see what's uh, what's wrong with it. So. But it also comes in handy as just a normal audio amplifier as well for your MP3 players. And I've often used it in the past just to listen to the music out loud. It's quite handy actually. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Hi, Kit. Is that you, Michael? Yes, it is. Michael, I'm so glad to see you. What do you think? I'm sorry, Michael. I have nothing to say. Still got the same old sense of humour as you did last time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's come along quite a long way now from what he was in my head to what he is now on uh, in actual real life. But I'm still trying to work on them, trying to get them right and stuff like that. And uh, stuff's always been added to the software and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it, it's getting there. It's getting there very slowly. Are you all right? I took the liberty of scanning your vital signs. Your blood pressure is 190 over 120 and your pulse is 104. Thank you, Kit. You're welcome, Michael. Oh, there you go. Kit, give me your technical specifications. No, okay, obviously he doesn't want to speak today. Thank goodness. I thought I'd never see you again. Hmm. 
one of the little glitches still in the program. All systems go, Michael. And the microphone is so sensitive, it's really annoying. <laughs> But now, obviously, it's just set on random, so it puts out like, random sounds now and again. I am the Night Industries 2000. My serial number is Alpha Delta 227529. I am unauthorized to allow access to my central processing unit. Michael, I'm picking up a transmission in a stylized dialect of the English language. Right away, Michael. From within my central terminal, brimming with the freshest software, megabytes. Thank goodness. I thought I'd never see you again. But uh, that about sums up, really, for part Thank four. Thank goodness. I thought I'd never see you again. And that really about sums it up, really, I suppose, for, for part four. Um, kit's now completed. Uh, still working on trying to get his lights to work, which is a bit of a bummer, really, because they don't work. But uh, hopefully this should keep you, keep you all happy now, because uh, I know you've been waiting for it a long time. But thanks, anyway. Um, something I can always keep this project, then, and uh, add some more modification to it, add on to it, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Um, I'm ever so grateful for all the comments you leave um, because it gives me an incentive to work much harder then. <laughs> so, uh, thanks anyway. Um, if you want more information about the voice box, uh, don't hesitate to, to email and email me. I know a few of you already have. Um, but yeah, if you want any questions, any know where to get the diagrams from for the voice box or stuff like that, um, just send me send me an email through YouTube and I'll uh, I'll pick it up and I'll give you the information you need if I can. Alright, thanks anyway for uh, following me through this little uh, escapade, as we put it that way. But, um, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, Kit's happy, I'm happy, everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah, alright, um, if you want any information, as I said, just email me and I'll uh, try and give you the information you want. Thanks very much, see ya.